Rufflet and so excited, Ricks. Fellas, what you working on? Hey, hey what's the, good? The latest feature. We're in the process of going through the notes that we got from Highball TV and implementing them in our latest script. Cool, so this is like a second draft situation. This is a second draft situation. Uh, we've had kind of some very good notes, and so we're just implementing the notes, making sure it just sings, my man. And it's clear for the reader because that's very important because it's a blueprint and everyone needs to be able to understand it. Because exactly. it's so every story is clear for HOD, is clear for us. What's uh, what's an HOD? The head of department for anyone who's not in the know like us, you know, just industry lingo, you know how it is. See, he knows. I was going to say, I don't know. I just hear people say it, so I'm just like, uh, HOD? <laughs> So what kind of notes were these, and uh, what kind of changes have they uh, brought about? A lot of the notes were structural, defining things. Everything's here. I think it's just bringing it out, making it clearer for for the reader, for ourselves. And yeah, just... and I think it's a common pitfall of writers to have everything in their head, so they assume everything's coming across. They're like, it's in there, and the reader's like, oh, what does that mean? That was unclear. It's like, oh, I know what that means. Of course you know what it means, because it's in your head. And speaking for so myself as a director, more so like, I write it because it's like, I know what this means, but everybody else doesn't know what this means. So it's spelling it out, making things clear for, I guess, so I'd say, clear for the reader, clear for everybody, it's just so everybody can have a good jumping off point and there's less conversation. It's, it, everything's right there on the page, just follow the page. And yeah, just, you know, making sure that everything's very clear, everyone's able to understand, because like we said, it's a blueprint. Uh, and if it's a hard to read blueprint, then it's a hard to make structure. Cool. So what uh, what's an example of like one note that you got and how you uh, went into digging? Sure. Okay, so here we just had... Oh, there was one thing. Okay, so here, tying tie back to exactly what we talked about, about what's in your head and how you think it's clear, because it's clearly in your head, but not so clear on the page. There was a, a photograph in the script that is important and comes into play several times with some of the characters and we both knew what the photograph was because we had written the backstory but in the script we didn't put any of that information in so it's just, it's just like the characters see a photograph and then we keep recalling back to this photograph like what is this photograph? So we have to go through and actually explain what the photograph is in the script so that when the person reads the script they know exactly what the photograph is and what the significance of it is. The clarity of it is within the term of the script the character realizes something about this photograph, and realizes who these people are in this photograph, and how it, it puts, what position it puts his bosses in. And so it's a, it's a, an important character reveal. And so your heads of departments need to know what that is as much as the reader needs to know what. Of that course, is. everybody needs to know what that photo is because the photo, it's like it's not, it's a non-verbal thing. Right? It's a non-verbal cue. Like it's not like somebody's like, I look at this photo. Right? It's a visual element. Like I don't want to spell it out to when we shoot this. I don't want to have to be like, oh, you know that photo of that couple who was blah, blah, blah? You don't want that. You want it to just be like, oh, that photo that I've seen a billion times throughout this movie. This is, oh, that's how this connects. And so we have to make it more explicit on the page. So, you know, people will hopefully find it explicit in their brain. All right, and what's the name of this one? This one's called Gin and the Wild Dog. Awesome, looking forward to it. Woo!